Hello friends, this video on simple equations part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Equations, Making an Equation, Solving an Equation Simple Equations What are they and where do we use them? So to understand them, let us look at an example from our day-to-day -day life. Let's say that this is your elder brother and your elder brother had some number of toffees and you also had some number of toffees. Okay. Now let's say that your elder brother had some number of toffees and he gave two toffees to you. Like initially you didn't have any toffee but since you also wanted them so your elder brother gave you two toffees. Right. And now what we see, we see that he has six toffees. So presently he has six toffees and presently you have two toffees. Now if I ask you that how many toffees your elder brother had earlier before giving it to you. Now it is a pretty simple question or it is a very pretty, very simple problem and you can solve it very easily. You might say that okay that, that's pretty easy. He must have had eight to two he had given it to me and so now he has six. Now this sounds simple but for a lot of cases where we deal with bigger numbers, where we deal with more complicated situations, things are not that simple. So in this case, I'll tell you what is the right approach to find the result. So let us assume that your elder brother earlier had X number of chocolates or X number of toffees. Now he gave two out of them to you. So that means he lost two toffees because he gave those two toffees to you. So how many he should have now? He should have x minus 2. So how many actually he has now? He has 6. So basically this is a relationship which will give you that is the value of x will actually give you the number of chocolates that your elder brother had. And this equation is a simple equation. x minus 2 is equal to 6. This is a simple equation. This is called an equation. Let us look at more examples. Let's say that these are two friends and they got their scorecard. So their exams are over, results are out and they got their scorecard. And it is seen that the girl scored two marks more than twice the marks scored by the boy. Complicated? Not really. Let us assume that the boy scored X because we really do not know how much did the boy score. Let us assume that he scored X. So how much did the girl score? Now as I said that the girl scored two marks more than twice the marks scored by the boy. So twice the marks of boy which is 2X plus 2. That is the score of the girl. Right? And now let's say that we already know that how much the girl scored. Let's say the girl had actually scored 20. So this girl had scored 20 marks. So we know this as a matter of fact. Maybe the teacher had told us that you know that the girl had scored 20 marks. But we really didn't know how much did the boy score. So how do we find how much did the boy score? By finding the value of x. Because x is nothing but the score of the boy. So how would your equation look like? Your equation would be something like this. 2x plus 2 is equal to 20. Because 2x plus 2 is the score of the girl. Assuming that the boy scored x. But actually we know that this 2x plus 2 is actually equal to 20. So this is your equation. And from this equation you have to find out the value of x. And how do you find the value of x? That is what we will learn in this lesson. We will learn how do we find solutions of equations. That is how do we find the values of these variables in the equation. So we will learn everything in detail. This is just the introduction part. Let's take one more example. Now these examples actually tell you how do you make use of equations in your day to day life. Why do we need to learn about equations? Let's say that uh, somebody asks you your age. Now there are two ways of answering him. You can directly tell your age or you can tell your age in, uh, in an indirect manner in, in the form of a puzzle. 
right let's say that you tell the person something like this that my father is 49 years old so the father's age is 49 years and I am four years and my father is four years older than three times my age so that's a puzzle right so you mean to say that your father is four years older than three times your age and your father's age is 49 so the your friend needs to guess your age so what would be the equation so the best thing to do is let your friend assume that your age is x so assuming your age is x what would be your father's age so assuming your age is x your father's age would be three times your age plus four that's what i said right three times your age plus four is the father's age but actually what is the father's age father's age is 49 so 3x plus 4 is equal to 49 would be the equation so you see in these kind of scenarios in day-to-day -day life where you come across problems where you know certain things where you know certain relations for example here you knew the relation between the father's age and the son's age so you knew those you know the, those relations but you do not really know the values here you know the father's age but you do not know the son's age but you know the relationship between the father's age and the son's age so you come across many such problems in your day-to-day -day life and simply equations help you to find solutions to these problems so now what do we understand by an equation so let's start from the very basics so equation is a statement of equality equation so the first part of the term itself calls equate that means something which equalizes two things so it is a statement of equality between two mathematical expressions containing one or more variables so i'm sure all of you understand what are mathematical expressions now mathematical expressions are those expressions which contain constants constants like numbers maybe one two 5, 60. So these are all constants. They, they also consist of variables. Now variables are those values which are represented by alphabets. For example, x, y, z, a, b, c, p, q, r. These are all variables. And the mathematical expressions also contain the operators like plus, minus, multiply, divide. So all of these together make the mathematical expressions. So I'll give you some examples of mathematical expression. For example, 3x minus 12. So it has constants 3, 12. It has a variable x. It has an operator minus. So 3x minus 12 is a mathematical expression. Now when you have two such mathematical expression, with an equality sign in between so you put an equal sign and you have another mathematical expression now that other mathematical expression could also be only a constant or it could also be only a variable something like this or it could even be something like this so these are all examples of equation so for any equation the only criteria is that an equality sign has to be there and there has to be two mathematical expressions involved. For example, 2x plus 9 by 2 is equal to 5y. This is an example of an equation because you have the equality sign which says that whatever you see on this side and whatever you see on this side, they are equal. Now, again, it is not necessary that an equation can have only one variable. It can have one or more variables. For example, here you have two variables, x and y. Similarly, you can even have more than two variables. For example, a plus 3b is equal to 5c. So here you have three variables involved. Something like this, where you just have one variable involved, that is also an equation. So all of these are examples of equation. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.